Hey entrepreneur, this is Mark Newsom, Mr. Marketing. Welcome to this special presentation entitled How to Build a List of Highly Targeted Prospects for Free in the Next 90 Days or Less, Part 2, and out promote your big buck major competitors in the process. Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to discover the dirty little secret to Power List Building 101. Here's a question. What is that nice bouquet of flowers, this nice box of gourmet chocolates, and the original chick magnet? This guy right here. What do they have to do with you building your list of a thousand prospects in the next 90 days or less and successfully running your own small business? you're gonna find out ladies and gentlemen you see this lady right here she's hard working this is her hair salon she's in a major mall and she has a second location in a strip mall and even though she works extremely hard that's why she has two locations she doesn't want to continually just have to trade hours for dollars so that's the reason why she looked into this Mr. Marketing guy to see what he had to offer because supposedly he's got these low cost high powered marketing strategies that are going to help her make more money with less effort and here's one of the things that he suggested he suggested that she go get this seven foot five to seven foot in other words she wanted to make a splash chick magnet this teddy bear and fellas in case you don't know it this guy is the original chick magnet. In fact, long before Justin Bieber, long before Justin Timberlake. Little girls love this guy. Teenage girls really love this guy. And the ladies absolutely love this guy. He is the original chick magnet. So here's what she's going to do. She's going to take this seven foot teddy or five foot teddy. She's going to stick it in the window, her main window provided there's no uh, stipulation in her contract with the mall to not do it is gonna say big red letters free drawing exclamation point one guaranteed lucky grand prize winner selected every month for the next X number of months will win Teddy no purchase necessary now the reason why it says X number of months is because depending on when she starts this promotion she might start it say at the beginning of October and run it to the end of December or he or she depending on who owns the shop might start it at the beginning of November and run it all the way to the first of February in the next year who knows but here's the point at the bottom of the sign it's gonna say C blank inside for all the exciting details and all mall employees welcome to enter now that a generic title all mall employees if she's in a major mall she'll use that but if you're in a strip mall you would put the actual name of the strip mall so in other words you want the employees of this mall to enter this free drawing as well now here's what's gonna happen here's what she's gonna do or whoever the shopkeep owner is they're gonna do these three things every time somebody inquires about that free drawing the first question they're going to ask is are you a current customer have you ever used the services before if the answer is no they're going to immediately hand that prospect two things one is going to be a special lead capture page business card but you're also going to have your laptop handy and it's going to be open to the page where they opt in you simply point to the laptop and say just put your name and a valid email address and at the end of the month we're gonna alert this month's winner who they are and also if you're a runner-up you're gonna get a special coupon so that you get a, a percentage off your next couple of uh, uh, visits to us so here's the other thing the other business card 
that they're going to be handed. It's going to be uh, a time, dates, uh, sensitive business card that says you get 25% off and then whoever is actually giving them the card, in case it's not the owner, if they're on break or you know they had to go to the doctor or something, the person is going to be instructed. You write down a date that's five to seven days out, whatever the owner decides on. And you let the prospect know that as long as they come back within that date, they get this amount, 25% off. But here's the other thing. You also hand them about three of your uh, business uh, lead capture page cards. And you ask if they'd be willing to pass out a few to their friends, family, relatives, co-workers, whatever. Now, you don't want to give them more than three because most people say, oh, give me 10 or 12, you know, I'll pass them out. You say, well, you know what, I only have a limited amount of cards and I'm getting some more cards done. But if they need to, just, you know, have them write the address down and, and they, can, they can enter. But here's the reason why you, you want to give them the other business card that says, or the coupon that says they get 25% off. Now, watch this. On the back of that card, you, meaning the owner or whoever the associate is that's assisting this particular prospect, they write in big letters 40% off and they have that same date and here's what they tell them. If you come back within that date and bring a new first time customer, somebody who's not currently a customer, both of you automatically get 40% off whatever that first service is you have done and again there's no minimum so in other words they don't have to come in and spend a certain amount and then you give them a 40 percent discount they can get the bare bones minimum done you're just trying to get that new client potential client in the store in that chair and get something done so you see how that might work and you see how this could easily be uh, list building one-on-one on steroids now here's the next part of that when the grand prize winner is selected unbeknownst to them when that courier who in reality when they show up may just be an employee of the salon or they may actually you know pay a courier but that courier is going to show up with this nice gourmet box of chocolate they're also going to show up with either a dozen roses and or a coupon just depending on how it pans out that they can go to the florist who may be a JV partner uh, and JV in case you're not familiar with that term just means joint venture some people call it strategic alliance uh, resource sharing whatever you want to call it but the partner who that florist may want to participate in this and if they do the florist may actually want the person to come to their shop and pick up the flowers but if not they're either going to have that coupon for these uh, dozen roses and of course the star of the show the big fella now here's the point if the courier shows up and they page this person Susan Smith to come uh, to the front desk and she gets there and sees this person has all this and then realizes oh my god I, I won the grand prize for that drawing I entered for the teddy bear ladies and gentlemen who's gonna be the talk of the office all day and probably the next day now stop and think about this for just a second which do you think has a bigger impact this or that ad the hair salon ran on the radio or that newspaper ad or that billboard that some uh, billboard representative contacted them or that insert they put in the newspaper ladies and gentlemen I think it's pretty obvious which one is going to be the talk of the town and when she's going to the elevator with all this she might have to have a co-worker carry some of this stuff with her what is everybody going to want to know so what else do you think this uh, savvy hair salon hairdresser does? Two things. She has an envelope that's sealed. It says thank you on it, exclamation point, big letters. And when uh, Susan or whoever the actual winner is opens it up, guess what's in there? That's right. Ten more lead capture page business cards. And she just says dear whatever the first name dear Susan please pass this out to 10 special people and have them enter our drawing as well maybe they'll be next month's winner and the uh, hair salon owner's name now ladies and gentlemen you've seen these right these little stands are in the mall actually if you check into the price or if you know anybody's ever rented one they're pretty expensive now this guy you sometimes you see a one or two person operation 
he can use this same concept with a variation. In other words, if money's tight, he doesn't have to go as far as the gourmet uh, chocolate and the, the uh, flowers, although those could be nice uh, secondary gifts as well. But he could put this teddy bear out and do two things. Number one, Actually, before he even buys a teddy bear, invest the money, he could call up a couple of local charities and find out if they'd like to, are they accepting donations? What do you think the charity's going to say? He says, well, here's my situation. I, uh, and he tells them he has a stand in such and such mall, and he's going to be running a uh, free drawing from this time to that time. And what he'd like to do is he's going to set up this teddy bear, and he's also going to offer for $2.00. Anybody that takes a picture with the teddy bear, that $2 he will donate to this charity if they accept donations. Of course, they should be all ready to receive. And he says, however, for doing that, he'd like to know if the charity would be willing to mention him on their social sites, like if they're active on Twitter or Facebook, or uh, if they are actually uh, in LinkedIn. And he says all he'd ask they do is that he men mention them, A, in, in their newsletter, or B, just... Uh, let the people know who are their members to so please stop by his booth and have a look and if they do want to take a picture with the teddy all 100 percent of the proceeds will go to that charity so you see how he's leveraging that but here's the other thing that's far more important once this person's uh the seasons is over and they're done for the year it would behoove them to become an affiliate of whatever they're selling or something else that's relevant and they could start sending emails to these people directing them to that website because remember they're not in the mall anymore but directing these people to this website so that when the next season rolls around they have a 90 percent chance of raising enough money through those pre-sales that they pay for their booth you see how that might work ladies and gentlemen I hope you can appreciate how powerful this strategy is and of course getting back to Susan and and her uh, chick magnet here she's gonna send all her uh, runners up coupons and uh, uh, email uh, broadcast emails and a broadcast email in case you're not familiar you know how a regular email uh, email service provider works once you join the li their list they normally have pre-written autoresponder messages a broadcast email just means that it's not part of that pre-written series and that you could write it right there on the fly and either decide to send it right then and there or send it later so let's say she's got a thousand people on the list she could alert them say Monday Tuesday and Wednesday and Friday about a special she's given and if she only gets one percent that still means ten people ten out of a thousand would be one percent that would actually come in and hopefully take advantage of her services and the flip side of that is if she bothered to do the typesetting pay the postage on a postcard and still got that one percent she probably lose money on that promotion so ladies and gentlemen I hope you see how powerful this particular strategy could be and in part three you're going to discover another variation on this a nice little twist that you'll find quite interesting now for those of you who want to take uh, go to the next level you want to discover how you can add an additional 25 percent more gross profit to your bottom line in the next 90 days or less without adding any new customers or clients entrepreneur then what you need to do is grab that free nine page special report and you can get it at you can market online now dot com forward slash sales this is Mark Newsom Mr. Marketing. We'll see you next time on the Marketing Minute.